Therefore I say, when you see what it is that I do, I say, be thankful unto me. For I say, if I the living God do not bring forth my wrath, my fury, my indignation, I say that men will simply wax bolder in their sins. That is, they will go on in the arrogance, the pride, the conceit of their own understanding, and yes, they love it so. But I say, when men are humbled, when men are broken, when men are brought low, then shall they cry out unto me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who devastates in order to set men free. That is, to set them free from the prison house of pride, from the estimation as to how great they are, to level them out, to show them they are nothing at all. And I say, when men are thoroughly devastated, I say, there will be the remnant that will repent unto me. And I say, when you see the horror of their own proud works, their own proud way, I say, they will weep bitterly before me. For I say they will see that they brought to their own lives the devastation, the ruination that they undergo. Now I say in the wickedness of the times there are many who strut, who boast, who think they can get by, but it is not true. That is because they have lost the fear of me, the respect of who I am. They think that their sin will go on forever. And they think that they can live it up, love it up, and live in all manner of foolery and debauchery and somehow they get by but I say that the end of fools is tragic and the way of transgressors is hard now I say in the times that ye are in I say that if it is me that you desire to please keep your vision single unto me that is, do not pay heed to the multitude of seducing spirits that are gone throughout the land. But I say, continue to believe, receive, and walk uprightly in me. And I say, becoming forth ever uplifted, directed, and guided forth in my life. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who does give to thee all that you have need of to be ever kept by me. For I say, if you are keeping your vision single that is upon me, of course you are directed in my life. And I say, if you are keeping your vision single that is upon me, of course you are brought forth in my way. For I say, it is a sweet thing to be ever directed, corrected, and guided by me, the one true God who is able. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does delight to give thee the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who does find joy in a people who keep themselves ever in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way of strength provided. Therefore I say, in an adulterous, a wayward, a vile, and corrupt generation, why not shine with the glory of being faithful and true unto me? For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed bringing my righteousness once again in the form of my wrath revealed. And I say, when my wrath does come down like a hammer to shatter, to break apart, to devastate and eradicate, what does it mean? It means that I, the living God, am sorely displeased with an adulterous, a wayward, a vile generation. It also means that I am establishing once again in the sight of all men the very fact that I am the Almighty. I say this day, be glad that I, the living God, do give unto thee the privilege to be uplifted, the privilege to be ever guided, the privilege to be directed by me. And I say, be thankful that as you will keep your vision single, you are brought forth in my way. I say, be thankful that as you keep your vision single, you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, the peace, and the hope that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope always. Now consider when I, the living God, do give to thee the truth and the light, and you walk in the same, then you are well pleasing unto me. But I say, if you choose to deviate, if you choose to walk afar off, what do you do? I say, you choose the way of your own devastation, the way of your own despair. And I say, you choose to be separated from what it is that I give thee for the wickedness of your own heart. Now I say that I, the living God, never called men to be shattered, to be scattered, and yet they are. And I say they bring it to themselves because they refuse to pay heed unto me. 
That is, they do not listen to me nor obey what it is that I dictate unto them. But I say they follow their own understanding, and I say they will be devastated and destroyed by the same. Now I say you are living in times when multitudes are under my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. And I say the same shall increase as men are failing to repent unto me. And I say it is me, the living God, who will bring upon them such as they have need of to be broken down. That is, broken out of the prison house of pride and shown they are mere men and they need to be subject unto me. Now I say when men will grow so proud, so impudent, so high-minded as they are in this generation, it is me, the living God, who shall repeat and repeat and repeat my hammer of wrath upon them. That is, I will bring it down in strength and power, I will bring it down in glory and might, and I will reveal again that I am the Almighty God. For I say it is time that men learn to respect me, to fear me, to obey me once again. And I say if men refuse to bend the knee unto me, what are they to me? I say they are wasted fools who are making their own way to damnation and loving itself. And I say that their lives mean nothing to me because they will not bow down unto me. For I say when men are so full of themselves of their own ways, so deceived and loving to remain as they are, I say they prove to be useless unto me. And I say it is me, the living God, who does indeed send forth what it is that they have need of to see what they are. But I say if they refuse even then to see what it is that I desire to show them because they are still so stubbornly proud, I say that I can easily cleanse the earth of them. For I say that I, the living God, am not obligated to any man nor woman upon this earth, and I say when they are indeed estranged from me, they prove what fools they are. I say this day, do not keep company with fools, do not keep company with those who are stubborn, proud, and resisting me. For I say they are full of the filthiness of their own way, they are full of that which is a grief unto me. But I say when a man is humbled and broken, when a man is subject unto me, then he is well pleasing unto me. Now consider that you do not need to wait until I bring my hammer of wrath in order to be broken before me. But I say that you can allow my spirit to show thee the error of your way, to show thee where you need to repent and walk uprightly in me. And I say that you can indeed allow my spirit to guide thee forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, the way of mercy and truth, and the way of hope provided. Therefore I say, in a way we're to vile, a corrupted and evil generation, why not be glad for the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me? That is, why not be glad that I give to thee the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength, and the peace always? I say, why not be glad that I give to thee the blessedness that I alone can provide, for I am indeed well able. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will give to thee the light upon thy path, the truth, the mercy, and the peace always. I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that men would pay heed to me, that they would walk uprightly in me. And I say it is not really a joy unto me to completely shatter them and devastate their lives. Yet I say because of pride and high-mindedness, rebellion and stubbornness, it is what I must do. Therefore I say rejoice that it is me, the living God, who does indeed reestablish my rule, my reign in the earth. That it is me, the living God, who does indeed bring forth my judgments revealed in the form of my wrath, my fury, my indignation. For I say you are living in a time when men are so dust, disgustingly proud and wretched in their own love of self that they cannot even hear what it is that I say unto them. And I say it is me, the living God, who must indeed take the measures of retribution upon them for their sins. For I say if they continue and continue and continue, ever being infected and infecting others, what shall you see? I say you will see an entire world gone mad, obsessed with sin and transgression against me. 
And I say you will see that men are going down the road of their own damnation and loving it so. I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, will indeed break in pieces, that I will indeed shatter and bring down all of those who are proud against me. For I say it is my time to reveal, to manifest, and demonstrate my wrath upon them. And I say be thankful that if you walk uprightly in me, if you continue to obey me, pay me unto what it is that I declare unto thee, you will be guided by me. And I say that you will be kept as only I can keep thee, for it is me, the living God, who does give thee the ark of safety wherein you can abide. But I say upon the wayward, the careless, the ones who desire to be damned, I say that my hammer, my wrath, my fury is revealed day after day. I say give thanks, give praise. say knowing about him I said knowing him you shall know the truth he didn't say you shall know about me he said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so you got to know Jesus yeah I know all about Jesus I know he died for my sins and I know he will forgive me every time I commit a sin blah 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 I read in here that Jesus will tell some certain people depart from me ye that work iniquity I never knew you Hey, you don't know him, you don't know you either, friend. Tit for tat type of thing here. You don't want to know the Jesus, you don't want to know him on your inward parts, friend, then he's not going to know you either. He's going to say, get lost, sucker, and you are lost. The very loving person you thought didn't care, was letting you get away with your sins, is on that final day, friend, he's going to cast you out of his sight forever. Say, oh, children, I've heard that so many times, it doesn't scare me anymore. I don't care if it scares you or not. I don't teach to scare people. I teach you Bible truth. And I believe that. I believe what I read. 